Look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. I mean, that's that's human, you know? Um, so yeah, the last time we read the whole book, like, every single page of it, I don't think I will recognize, like, most of it when it comes up, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Like, um, if it gives me a hint or something, I will probably remember it, but as of now, not so much. Hey Jules, also hey Lucas. Uh, so yeah, we checked out the whole room and I think our objective is to go into mom's room, right? Oh, we have a memory. It's member. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! No way! I totally forgot about him. He literally <sighs> just read about him. to mention his name. He was too powerful. Damn right he was. Uh, oh so yeah, we, we've read the book, so we know what they were talking about. Where'd you come from? So that's good. I think. Okay, we have to head to... Um, I'm pretty sure we... Looked through everything here, right? So the only thing missing is... The, uh, her room. Can we open the door from this side? No. Oh, hey. 2005. Of course. Fix the window. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. <laughs> Let's what? be a dick. You don't want me to buy you presents? You're gonna need your cash to get started. We've got a lifetime for gifts. Okay. But no presents from you either, then. Deal. Well, that worked. Oh, hold on. We can turn it. Let's turn it, then. Uh, there it is. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. Oh, that's, hold on, what was it? I thought I could uh, look at it, but I guess not. Oh god, here we are. Okay, I'm really glad we figured this one out. Thank you, Valdine. Also, hello. Uh, okay, I, I want to go to December or something, and then go back the whole year. So, oh, we are not able to. Okay. So March is the way we go. Aronso is a race in Final Fantasy X. Gold. Oh yeah, I've been well for sure. Like after all this time, I I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Yeah, it was probably in Mary Ann's room. Yeah, yeah, dude, come on. 
Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. I hope you're too uh, well too, Galdine. I hope uh, I hope everything is treating Best you well. Mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Sponsorized by the local goblin. You survived the US? Damn, boy. How was it? Did you enjoy your stay? Uh, to civilization in France? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Okay, let's go Hold in. Up. What up? What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have uh, a book of goblins? Yep. Oh, great. Hand it over. Now my memory what will be tested. For? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the book of goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Let's just say I did. <laughs> Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I remember. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something uh, in the story. Fuck's First sake. ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. <laughs> Aww. Oh, come on, Goldine. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, okay, let, let me check it again. The party was further back, I believe. Right? It was like... Um, wait, there's the party. So the torch, the sword, and the gold. Uh, okay, uh, the question is, hold on, how do we... How do we know which one is which? Okay, hold on, we, we read the thing. So the first one is the torch, right? Uh, was it a torch? It's a torch. Make sure that I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. I think that might have been the moves. Um... I'm not sure anymore. Shit. What was the third thing? It was coin. Uh, not sure. There we go. Achievement of luck, crafty goblins. Look at me go. Okay. And boom, we're in. Years. I expected this to feel more, you know, 
like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? <laughs> Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Yeah. Time to snoop around. Oh, we have a memory somewhere. It's member. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. to tell me everything but they shut me out tessa they've shut me out i've had so much on my plate lately and and they're convinced i'm the enemy and i don't know why i need them i need my goblins i remember now we heard her crying we listen through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. This. It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Um a oh god no, Goldine. Why would I why would I play def Excuse you? Did you just re you f You're lucky that you're my sister. <sighs> Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to play D4, like, at all. I, I don't care enough for that. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? <laughs> no wonder Miriam liked it. A timeless sea. Even Orchard. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. I mean, the painting ain't that terrible, honestly. Let's see. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly, they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. You don't play games that are for babies, uh-huh. Okay, FIFA boy. Diary? It's here! Okay, we, we're gonna take the diary at the end. I kinda wanna see everything else first. Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? The wise princess. Could you move? Thank you. Uh, we got this. Is there something on the wall that I missed? I don't think. Maybe behind the door? Nope. Okay. Time for the diary. All this place needs is a quick clean, and it'll be ready to go. <sighs> if only. Second place? Nice. Red's I knew man. it. I fucking knew it. I believe in you. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Oh boy.
Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. In the memories we had mostly of her, like, that showed her always showed that she was trying to do something. She was trying to understand, but she was just... It was just too much, like everything above, like... I'm really curious and to see how this will play out, or... Like... The narrative has been, yeah, she's the bad mom. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I've been told it's from the same... Whoa. Uh, I've been told it's from the same type, so yeah. The same studio, it, yes. It looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Uh, also, Colleen, this game is free at the moment on Steam, if you want to grab it yourself. The devs made it free for the whole uh, of Pride Month. Which is also the reason why we are playing it right now, and not Tomb Raider. Sit together later and try to find a way for you to Mom? do the sesh. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is wrong. This is 
is all wrong. Wait! Stop! What is happening? Oh, I see. Okay. Just want to make sure that I offered the help. <laughs> We found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. You get another date? About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. <laughs> they pretend like that night never happened. I mean, Tyler won't stop here. There's no way he's just like, yeah, you know, taking shit on Allison now. So. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. I don't think we should shit on Let's ask her about the it. only person sure. that's trying to help us. I'll warn you, she's particularly <clears throat> touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just, you graduated three years ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Careful, one of those option causes a level 99 Articuno to burst out of the ice. Come on, Goldie. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to see anyone. 
I oh, just no. started testosterone. And, oh, God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Oh boy. Oh, diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Oh God. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Guess let's read the diary now. Oh jeez. Oh thank god there's a there's a thing. Yeah. So first we look at the pretty picture. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Ellie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She did like it... When I try to change it, it did not like it when I try to change anything. Why can't one of those goblins be a boy goblin? Oh, Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it glorified war. Yum, yum. Oh, th that's probably the the laser thing, right? Okay, whatever. Saturday, February 5th, 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Alison told me again that it was my fault mom got getting angry at us. She's such a suck-up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Ellie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblin. To this, to that, I'm sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Oh, the Goblin's fighting with the lightsabers. Let's go. Wait, that, that's everything we have? Oh, come on! You cannot tease us with the whole book and just give us four pages. How dare you! This is the worst game ever. Boo! Oh. If you squint, you can almost forget Delos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. 
Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Wow, okay. Uh, all right. I think oh, I that's enough time watched, enjoying wow. the view. God damn it. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known in Tyler's. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. If I could? Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. Yep. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Uh-huh. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. So that's the bear, huh? Gotcha. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But, uh... Selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Mm. Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too?
Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. Let's talk again. Let's go. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? As much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... uh, -uh. uh so, uh... Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I. Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... Mm. Oh, boy. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Oh, boy. Couch is really old school, <laughs> with bear imprints and stuff. Really cool. Not that I would like that in my house, but you know. The fireplace, though. That I would that I would take. What I mean, you're so awkward. What? Use you.
<laughs> I mean, that's me, yeah. <laughs> To be fair, the whole this guy is hammered scene at the end kinda got me out of it. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. I can't wait with the whole uh, Tessa talking now, that's gonna be interesting. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Not that you would have answered. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, hold on. You're playing as Ellie now again. Okay. Can we get back into the car and leave now? Okay. Can we play GTA and steal the car? No. Okay. Worth a shot. I wanna check out the posters. We love music. Basketball tournament, Saturday, October 12th. Okay. Uh huh. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24/7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, uh, I'll be around if you need anything. I can't wait for Michael to die. That's gonna be fun times. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Hello? What do you mean smash his head on table? What's wrong? The D&D stuff still not working for you? And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Mm. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. 
No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Then do a break for an hour or two. And try again later. This is coffee. Today's special salmon lumpia with garlic fried rice. Seven dollars. Bibinka slice two dollars. Yeah, that sounds good. You do that. They turned that fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing though, right? You can't miss it. Okay. Hey, excuse me. What's up, Tyler? This is not a mirror, sir. Hey, come here. I'm sensing something. This king dome. Get it? Cause it's a dome? You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. It kinda was. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Rude. There's no way there's nothing in here. That's so rude. Boo! Jesus! Oh, there we How go. do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. Yeah, I, I, I'm really shocked, sir. You are a prankster. So, oh, nothing here. Fine. I guess we're going into the store soon. Okay. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Oh no. Why wouldn't we sign it? Hold on, who signed? I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On yeah, what? Guess. They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. So from what I can read, those two did not sign this. So. Crazy that what? they haven't caught him yet. Recently, we have had multiple incidents of mail theft occurring in and around Dallas Crossing. Residents have reported letters and packages stolen from mailboxes, particularly in the East Point and Almeida section. Dallas Crossing Police Department encourages all residents to increase awareness and consider purchase of locking mailbox. Uh huh. So, we have a mail thief. Great. Very chicken, nice. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Can I get bubblegum? Extreme bubblegum? No. No bubblegum. Gospel concert. Can I grab a snack? No. Yes, no snack for us. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. 
but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Mm. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. No, oh, okay. no Tessa. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Later. We've got some shopping to do. No way. The Trout King is still here. Dude. I'm trying to browse. Okay? Stop talking. Jeez. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Mm, what does she look like? I think she looks like candy. Yeah. Oh, man. I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Busted. Oh, in November. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, mm. toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Mmm, let's get the. Only live once. Let's get those. Okay, we got snack, we got candle. Yeah, yeah, he is. That's why he's gonna die, probably. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola or something fresh. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped like this in ages. Take your time and enjoy it. Yeah, what do we have here? Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. That's fair. Dallas pulls its live, free concert, yada yada. That pumpkin's huge. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. And roller derby. Is that it? That's about it. Let's move on. Okay. No rolls and stuff, I guess. How do people eat this? Ugh, snob much? It's not that bad. Weren't you the picky eater when we were kids? Hey, cleaner. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Yeah, are we buying boomerang or whatever the f let, let, let's take this one. Mm, I don't even know. Better. I don't even know. Let's just fucking take an every anything. And I will fly away from here. Did did you write that? You're sweet, but uh no. It's from this cheesy movie musical with Idris Elba. Oh. Didn't see it. Eh, you can probably skip it. Unless you're in the mood to drool over Idris Elba for two exquisite hours. Uh, I'm more of an Ezra Miller kind of guy. <laughs> Can't blame you for that. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Let's talk. How I was trying to talk to him. Here as kids? Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? <laughs> I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind <laughs> you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? 
We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. I was worried for a second. He was like noping out at all. Totally like... Need any help? Nah. Go enjoy your day off with your brother. Yeah. I have no idea who those names are. Uh, I'm I'm hey, terrible with names, and you know that. Should we get like 50 cans of peaches just in case the apocalypse hits tonight? If the apocalypse hits while we're in that drafty old house, we're screwed. Hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. What do we still need okay, to get? Drink. Something to drink. Where are them drinks? Pumpkin. It really is one enormous pumpkin. Okay. Uh. Like I think the drinks should be cool. No. I guess not. Oh, there we are. What up? Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Uh, let's go with the more disgusting I'm grabbing stuff. some water. You do you, girl. Water. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Super disgusting water. Oh. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. So am I, Jules. I'm drinking water, too. <laughs> Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know... We run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Should we try to leave without paying? Nah. Uh, she... Allison is working here, so I don't think so. Otherwise, I probably would have. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. Oh, yeah. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. 
That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Damn. Guess we're looking for a memory now, huh? That all of a sudden begins to come back. Oh. Where is it? Oh, here. There we are. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Debts, huh? I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Sure. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Please, Tessa let's got just all talk for a few... Which is it going to be? Hmm, which one are we gonna choose? I'm gonna be honest... Hold on. Where's the other memory? Um I wanna talk to you now. Or do I please let's just oh. I wanna talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. I want to talk to you now. Mm. Please. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? You know what? I'm gonna go with Allison's memory. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I mean, I'm, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. All right, and we're gonna do that after our break. So, thank you all for hanging. This has been rather much so far. Like, and I bet it's not gonna get less, so... It's gonna be a ride, I believe, so...
I'll be back in 3 to 5. Yeah, better stretch out a bit, get some water, whatever, you know the drill. I'll see you all in 3 to 5.